Well, Greg, a few hours ago, the family placed this tarp around Joy Vaughn's home. Crews have been out here all afternoon removing debris from around the church building. They even found these burnt pages from the hymn books. I can still see and smell the smoke here at Sir's Fabrics, and firefighters spent all day putting out the hot spots. This is where Chad Terry is accused of robbing the store just before 8 o'clock this morning. I stopped by the IRS office in Huntsville, and the doors are locked. And there's this sign that states the office won't open until the government shutdown ends. In this brown house, this is where the double homicide took place on Mulberry Street. These recordings show three county deputies explaining what happened while they were in the room with city officer Austin McGee. As you can see, the garage of this house behind me is caved in. Jeremy Smith drives this road every morning to take his daughter Jalea Smith to school in Tuscumbia. He told me by the time he saw the car wreck happening in front of him, it was too late. We was talking, you know, letting them know that, you know, today's Thursday, you know, we got gymnastics tonight. You know, you're going to be ready for it? She said, I'm going to be ready, Daddy. I don't worry. I'm going to be ready. Thursday morning was normal for Jeremy Smith. It was raining, but his daughter, Jalea Smith, brought him sunshine. She was just playing her Fortnite game and then showing me stuff on the phone. When driving on Highway 43, Jeremy saw a car in front of him flipping the air, and quickly it slammed into his car. After he realized what just happened, he went looking for his daughter. You can hold her hand, but you can't move her. And I'm like, I, I, I wanted to move my daughter. I, I wanted to hold her. I wanted to take her, you know, just find somewhere to take her to. Jeremy moved to the shows a few months ago from Huntsville to be closer to Julia after her mother died. He's going to miss her positive attitude, their dinner dates, helping her with her homework, trips to Sky Zone, and the many memories he had hoped to make. I only got to do that for, for about three months. I, I ain't get to have a full year with her. We just celebrated her birthday. We had a party for her. She just turned eight. In memory of Jalea, Jeremy is planning to get with local officials to go over traffic concerns on Highway 43. You know, it definitely should have been some kind of cautious sign from here on forward saying, at this speed limit, hey, rain, speed limit, this is it. Have little lights up. And then, you know, have police out here enforcing that. But he still wonders why it was her life that was taken and not his. When I got to pick her up from extended stay, I said, baby, how you doing? She said, I said, you have a good day? She said, I'm fine. I had a great day. That, that was just the, I don't know where she got that from. I don't know if she heard it somewhere, but that's what she said to me all the time. Dan and Demetria, several people who live in this community have been stopping by Warrior Creek Missionary Baptist Church to show their love and just to say their prayers. And right now they want church members to know they're not alone. Um, I buried my dad in 09. And this is worse than that. Pastor Darrell Ross said he's been numb all day and he's still grieving the loss of his church. I'm supposed to lead. And I'm struggling and praying for enough grace for God to help me lead us out of here. The church building is now gone. I don't believe God put this on us to punish us. I don't believe he put it on us for anything. Things just happen. But that doesn't mean the congregation at Warrior Creek Baptist Church won't have worship service. If the Lord tears is coming and the weather's permitting Sunday morning, we're going to have normal preaching service right here, and they'll love. Uh, there'll probably be 100, 125 waiting on word from the Lord. Deacon Tom Ellenberg says several churches in the Coleman County area reached out to Warrior Creek offering them to use their building. Well, one church that uh, actually recently built a new sanctuary and their old sanctuary is just being unused now. Okay. So that's, we'll probably look into that. That's Union Hill Congregational Methodist Church. Congregation members are praying and trying to look past the current situation. I know that God has a plan for it all, even though we may not see it, but um, I know that he has a plan and he's going to take care of us regardless. Of course, you're just, you're just dazed. You don't really know what's going on. I was hyperventilating because I was so scared. And we were literally six to seven feet away from where the car came into the house. It was a sound Nell Wheeler didn't know how to respond to at one o'clock Saturday morning. We were in bed sound asleep and I sat straight up in bed and then instantly heard water running hit the floor, put on my clothes, ran to the front door, 
saw that they had crashed into our master bathroom. When Wheeler went outside, she saw the 2005 Chrysler 300 stuck in her house. Decatur police say the man behind the wheel was 19-year-old Alejandro Thomas. He was uh, alive and conscious and complaining about his legs. Way 31 learned Wheeler's neighbor caught the entire wreck on her home surveillance system. It hits the curb, goes airborne and drags the rear end of the car, then it comes back down and then slams into the house. So it was going fast enough when it hit the curb, it didn't even slow him down. It took first responders around five hours to pull the car out from the house. Fire department braced the end of the house so it wouldn't, the roof wouldn't fall in when they pulled the car out. This is under the tarp to our master bathroom. There's our cabinet and our light fixtures and the commode and sink and everything is all shoved to the far wall. I mean, everything that you have to get dressed was in this bathroom. So we had to go buy new toothbrushes, new makeup. Everything that you have to have to get dressed to go to church on Sunday morning was in this bathroom. Blow dryers, shavers. The Wheeler family is now dealing with insurance, but realized this could have been worse. If we had been in the bathroom or our pet had been in the bathroom, it would have killed us. 